you know, I, I've explained it now a few times, but, you know, long story short, we, uh, for 2018, we thought it'd be interesting to try and count down the greatest comic book movies of all time. So what we did, uh, all of us here who contribute to Hero Shot, we all came up with our own lists. We compiled those lists together, and now we have a full list of, uh, from 52 to 1, of our favorite comic book movies between between all of us and each week now for 2018 we plan on talking about a different movie and this week what'd you say number 48 we're number on now 48. number 48 the, the the 48th greatest comic book movie for 2018 at least according to us according to us <laughs> <laughs> hero shot uh is v for vendetta the 2005 dystopian political thriller film Directed by James McTeague and written by the Wachowski. This says the Wachowski brothers. That's that's politically incorrect. It, it should is. be the Wachowskis. Um, I feel like I feel bad because I feel like people probably think I was joking about that, but no. I, I wasn't. Um, but no, this um, this is uh, what is what is this movie about? Uh, 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 2027 takes place in the United Kingdom. Uh, the what do they call the government? The government there. It's not like the what do they call it? Uh, Fingerman? <laughs> That's the police. Yeah, no. They call it something, and I've, I'm, I'm, my mind is blank on what they call the government, and I can't freaking... Oh, this is not good. I should know that. I just watched the movie like three hours ago. Yeah, I know, and I, I did too, but I can't... It's like, can no, it's like details, North, so. some, North Fire. That's what it is. The North Fire Party. Um, You know, uh, what... like. People have a curfew. They can't go out past like 1030 at night. Um, they, you know, there's like all television is run through the government and it's like all government funded programming. BTN. Um, British television yeah, network. exactly. Uh, what else? Like all the food and pharmaceutical drugs are all funneled through the government. So Natalie Portman's character at one point mentions like, um, I haven't had real butter since I was a child, or something like that. When when um, V takes when her. V yeah. when V are the toast feeds her that meal, uh, Eggie in a basket. <laughs> yeah, um, it, they all so, and it's it's a it's it's funny because if you look at the sort of like major conspiracy people, seem to think that this is this isn't too far off from the way things are going in this country. Um, Dude, that's what kind of like I watched it last night, and I was just like, man. This movie's not like relevant for what people are thinking. The government. That's what become. I'm saying. It was. It almost was like this movie was a little bit before its time because I think it's, this movie was is just as relevant now as I think it was when it came out. Uh, 15, Fifteen years ago. Whatever. No, Thirteen. Wait. What, what year are we in? Twenty eighteen. Twelve years ago. Thirteen years ago. My bad. Matt's not a strong suit on the hero I, shot. I, dude, it's so funny. I said 15 years, but I felt like that was way too long. But no, it's I was 13. pretty close. Yeah, You're getting close. But um, uh, we got this uh, guy, uh, V. Uh, you know, I want to say played by, what's the guy's name? Hugo Weaving. Hugo yeah. Weaving, but I don't think Hugo Weaving ever stepped on that stage. I think, think it was, was just his voice. Just his voice. Well, yeah. he, he is. You do. Spoiler. Well, the movie came out 13 years ago. <laughs> there is a there's shot. There's there, a little twist. You don't know who. It's there is a be. shot where like there's a shadow. Like they do a really good job of it. But, like you talking about after, after the fire? No, no, no. This uh, well, he, he, technically yes, but there's a shot where it's like the 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 face is shadowed out, but like the the like infamous Hugo weaving hair, and like if you've seen any, you know, like high forehead. Well, it's just like the hair and how he's like, got a very tall to forehead. Side. Mm -hmm. I was like, "That's Hugo Weaving right there." Like, I could see it, and I was like, "Okay." But um, oh, I guess I missed that. I don't know. He had some mannerisms, right? He does. I think similar. I think it might have actually been. It might have been him. For uh, who knows? And then they went back and redid his voice. Um, but no, yeah, the this North Fire Party they rule over the United Kingdom, and what I think is it unfortunately very uh, kind of hits home today is is the the fact that they what the whole deal is like um, immigrants, Jews, Muslims, atheists, homosexuals, and other undesirables are imprisoned and executed in concentration camps. It's like Nazi Germany. All yeah, over again. Which Basically. is like, you know, like I said, for the conspiracy people, the conspiracy theory fans out there, they're like, this movie probably hits really close to home because they seem, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sway one way or another and say that, that things like that aren't, 
maybe headed in that direction. I certainly hope they're not. We got nine years to find out, guys. <laughs> yeah, 2027. Yeah, yeah. Um, good math. Yeah, it's better than me. <laughs> Math's my strong suit. But one thing that I thought was funny that I that I mentioned to you is so our main character is Natalie Portman. Well, she was fresh off of a uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith at this point. She is uh, she's supposed to play a British girl, and like I said to you, Garrett, I don't. I'm not a fan. I I'm, I can take foreign people with foreign accents doing an American accent, but Americans doing foreign accents, no. I just there's something about it. I just I, I'm not. Why, they could have just that cast was, a British girl. So I watched it last night. Like that was one of the, the first things I noticed. And I was like, "Oh god, this feels really forced." <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, this is bad. But, but it was still a good movie. But uh, yeah, and I I'm, wrote down a couple of notes, and I was mentioning how like, dude, this movie this movie came out around the same time as Batman Begins does, and this movie feels, especially towards the beginning, a lot like Batman Begins. And it's like I don't know if they saw that movie and then we're trying to like base that off of. Based this off of that, but dude, like V is kind of Batman. At, in, he definitely in, pops up out of the shadows. Yeah, and sneaks around a lot <laughs> like Batman. He does. His it's okay, man. Me. He gets choked up when he talks about it. It's fine. Excuse Batman's me. His favorite. Uh, when uh, but the only thing that's different though is, is like their motivation because Batman is like, oh, you killed my parents. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. take vengeance. Then V is just like, I'm just gonna murder as many people as possible well he had his reason yeah. he had his reason but he was also an insane person he was but at the same time like he was very calculated and he knew exactly Those who he bad needed people. exactly like he he was like i'm, I'm a I vigilante like he killed a lot of innocent people at, at the same time i don't think so maybe some of the cops like yeah they were trying but they were trying to like kill him they so like on orders and so um but he doesn't kill the inspector ever and he has m- multiple opportunities right um so he did have a list. So I mean, he, he was did. like he was very calculated. He knew who he was going after. So this movie sort of like famously portray. You know, it's funny. I remember seeing this movie for the first time and not even realizing that it was a graphic novel, which is funny. Yeah, they didn't but, talk about it back then a lot. It wasn't <laughs> cool to be a comic book, movie. right? Yeah, even though at the beginning of this movie it says DC, DC mm-hmm. which I must have not. I don't know how I missed that, but DC, I was thinking uh, maybe the vertigo. skateboard. I was thinking like skateboarding DC. Like when I saw You're it, like uh, Rob Deerdeck. Yeah, you know, when, when I first saw it, like, and <laughs> I got some cool shoes. I, I, I told this movie. I told Nick this before. I was like, you know, I saw it probably when I was 18 years old, and then now I've seen it 10 years later, and I'm like, dude, this like the relevance of this movie and how fast it goes. Like, it's very just like boom, boom, boom. I was like, I think I missed so many like details and stuff, and then now on November 5th, I'm always going to like say like remember, remember, fifth, remember yeah. the fifth of November. Yeah, and so it was just. I don't know. Like the, I felt like the writing was really good in this movie. It's a, it's a very well put together movie. That's for sure. Going back and see, it holds up just as well as it did, you know, many years ago. Um, and it, it's certainly one of those things. If you have not checked it out, if it's, it's because it's, it's, I didn't even realize that it was on Netflix, but it, it totally is on Netflix. So this movie is easily accessible. And I think if you want to see something that, um, I don't know, it certainly makes you think. Um, it does. About, yeah, they did that. Um, <clears throat> about what the future, hopefully the future that we can avoid, um, we can, you know, like, obviously yeah, we can try and stay away from that. But yeah, I wanted to mention though, yeah, the the graphic novel was written by Alan Moore, who famously, Watchmen, and yep. what else? Swamp Thing, and what else has Alan Moore done? <laughs> I know he's done a no, few other top of my head League anyway. of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which was that weird. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he did that as well. And uh, Alan Moore, you know, he, I'm not sure how he feels about this. Maybe, he, uh, speaking of people who don't like uh, movies being made out of their books, he, he hates definitely I, one of them. I think he hates pretty much everything that's Every been done. Movie, yeah. yeah, even Watchmen. When, when mm-hmm. you know, watch, you know, Watchmen is one of those things that like, Hard, hardcore comic book guys like they love the Watchmen because it is so much like the comic book. This I I don't really know. Even though I've got the, the, we've got the graphic novel downstairs, I think my brother had to read it for a college course or something like that, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you're talking about what's more, Alex Moore, Alan Moore, Alan Moore. Alan Moore. Moore. Yeah. He's I actually a, was reading he's a wizard now. He's like a wizard. He like practices magic and witchcraft and stuff like that. That's funny. Yeah. Um, but I was reading a. a He's a mage. An article about V for Vendetta last night before I watched it, and just to kind of piggyback off what you guys were saying. 
Um, he actually did not take any royalties from this film. Like he he was like, I, I do not want any he's because he, for doing that. he hated mm-hmm. how bad League of Extraordinary <clears throat> Gentlemen was. That he's like, I don't want any association with he's, this film at all. He's kind of always been a uh, one now of those. In hindsight, you're like, oops, royalties. Well, I mean, he's he's one of those like he's a purist, and he's mm-hmm. he's always been yeah. like. Comics should be comics, not movies. And movies should be movies, and comics should be comics. And um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm sure there's plenty of people who would agree with him on that. I happen to think that comics make some of the best movies out there. To be honest with you, well, it is nowadays. Uh, exactly. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, <laughs> but no, uh, you know, this is a. It's an extremely good movie. I think. Uh, you know, even though I was kind of joking about. Natalie Portman's accent earlier. She does a really good job of the movie. Hugo Weaving, even though he plays a freaking insane person, it's it's still a a great character. And you, you I never mean, see his face. You ne- yeah, yeah, exact good so. point. That's I love that that you never get to see his face. You see, that kind of reminds me of um, remember the 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 newer Dread movie that came out a few years ago mm-hmm. with uh oh what's his name Carl Urban. That was one of the great things about that movie is you never get, actually get to see that guy's face. Um, uh, but no, I, I love the fact that you, but you, what you do see though is that one scene you see his hands and his hands are all like charred and yeah. burned, and <clears throat> you start to realize that this guy kind of has like, oh. he has he has a history behind him and he, he has put those out there. he has a reason for yeah. for what he does even though he kind of takes it to the extreme. But actually, yeah. I love that scene because like he's cooking, he's just like singing along, and then she's like. What is this? And that's the whole you're saying she hadn't had butter in a long time. Yeah. And then she goes, Oh my gosh, your hands. He goes, Oh, like he just has like this really weird, like, oh, yeah. And he's them. like, he, And then he puts his gloves on. He's like, Whoops. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was like, yeah, dude, I loved it. Dude, he's a, he's, dude, he's kind of a kooky character for sure. But that's one of the things that make this, it makes this movie, if he was serious the whole time, I'm not sure. And I don't know how he is if he's that sort of like whimsical. And, you know, he's always speaking in alliteration throughout the movie. Uh, I'm not sure if he does that in the graphic novel, but. I, I actually really enjoy that. You got to find out now that you have it. You got to read it. Yeah, I probably won't. I probably won't. Probably <laughs> won't. <laughs> Just being honest. Um, what else? Uh, I mentioned the thing about the... Uh, oh, what I wanted to mention is like this is sort of like lived on in the whole... And you might know more about this than I do. I don't, the whole like the, the, the anonymous people... The, the hackers or whatever. Fans. That's sort of their they adopted that their place, their yeah. their logo now. And um that's sort of like lived on, I think, out of this movie, this the whole sort of like taking it to the man and attacking the government and you know, not or just whoever needs to be attacked for whatever reason. Yeah, they've done you yeah. know what they've done like stuff against the Scientology and all sorts of stuff like that. But, I thought I thought for a film that came out in oh five, like the uh Blowing up the old Bailey and the destruction of the parliament looked really good. Like, yeah, I was like, I can t- that's I, actually like pretty I, decent. And it's funny because I'm pretty sure that I'm sure they had they enhanced that somehow with CG. But the way that looked to me is, and this was surprising for 2005, but a lot of the prequels still had this. That looked like it was probably a miniature that they shot right you know, close up and then blew that up, which is sort of like you know classic movie Star technique. Warsy. Exactly. Independence um, Day. That yeah. always yeah. killed me with exactly. that one. Yeah, there. exactly. With, wow, with the Independence up. Day. <laughs> um, but no, I, this is it's a really good movie, and I think it's it's extremely well put together. It's well directed, well acted, well written, and uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, I would I would highly recommend doing so. Um, I like the ending with the droves of the citizens in the Guy Fox masks uh, headed towards Parliament to oh, watch it yeah. blow up. Dude, that's like an iconic scene. And his speech. Scene. Like his speech. Yeah, like it's, yeah it's, it's, it's over. Like the monologue's over them walking and then... Um, well, actually, Natalie Portman's talking to the inspector at that point and then that's when she says, like, uh, he was all of us. Right. Like, that was kind of like the, you know... And it's, then they show them taking their masks off and stuff. I was like, man, this is... It was actually really good. Like Especially, like, it's so fresh because I did watch it last night, but I'm just like, man. It's... I got so much more out of it this time than right. I did 10 years ago. Right, exactly. And I, what I love about this is, like, this goes to show that, like, comic books aren't all, you know, Batman, Superman, and that's what, colors. Ninja Turtles. So, I, that's, <laughs> that's what I actually told my wife. I was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to watch a movie tonight. You can watch it with me if you want, but you don't have to. And she's like, what is it? And I said, V for Vendetta. She's like, what's it about? And I was like, well, it's based off uh, a comic or a graphic novel. And I was like, but it's not superheroes, right? And it's so I feel and like, if like you, oh, okay. I feel like if you mention that, that would that that automatically turns certain people it off. It does, 
But I, if you if you omit that and then show them this movie, then I think, and then you're like, oh, that was based off a comic book, by the way. And you're, they were like, what? And then you and then you could show them. I don't know. What would you show them after that? Watchmen, maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That might. Yeah, that, too, that too, would, that's Doctor really Manhattan's time. a little. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you see that gay, maybe? blue wiener flopping around all over the place. Um, <laughs> um, I, lo- I, lo- your mom. I love yeah. on uh, like when FX had when they play it like it was Dude, edited. Yeah, no, it's so funny. The first time I saw that movie, I saw the edited version on TV, and then it's I so long. Then I saw. I know it's. I know it's. I like, mean the movie. Dude, it's like that it's long. Like three I saw hours the long. Movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, God, I gotta put an explicit in this one now. <laughs> but no, it's funny. And then I saw the unedited version and I was like, okay, blue penis. Um, but no, lots yeah. and lots. They're, they do make sure that a it's lot. on the screen. Yeah, a lot. I well, uh, find, uh, if I were you, I would find somebody who hasn't seen this movie and show the, show it to them and then maybe let them read the comic, graphic novel. I don't know. I like Duncan, who will not read it. And it's yeah. on Netflix, so it's pretty easy to I get. I probably, probably will not, but yeah. Um, so yeah, number 48, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're working our we're working our way down the list. Um, what was it? Yeah, I guess we can do like a quick a quick recap of the ones we've done so far in case people want to go back and check those out. Sin City. Um, I just want to hold on my channel. What are you doing? Um, let's see here. Uh, 52, Justice League Dark. Which animated. actually would have been higher for me, thanks to... <laughs> now that you've seen it. See, this is the point of the thing, because I'm telling you, I already know that this list is going to stay this list for a year. maybe a year. And then in like 2020, when we're 30, we we will... Um, we yeah. will... Uh, <laughs> Get that a lot. We will do... Um, uh, do we'll do this list we'll again. We'll relist it. We'll relist it. And dude, things will be higher than they were the first time around. And Sin City will not be in this. <laughs> Sin City I might can, not make don't the like list. Sin City? Yet. No, it, I, it's fine, but no. it's not as good as these other movies that we've been doing. It's uh, oh, yeah, but Fifty Two. Yeah, I, I would Sin imagine City. it's probably not worse or better than yeah, yeah. Justice League Dark. Justice League Dark is better than Sin City. Yeah, and we will include the the animated movies for sure. But yeah, Justice League Dark was number fifty two. Fifty one was Sin City. Fifty was uh, Captain America: First Avenger, and 49, 30 Days of Night. Which that's another one that maybe if you're you know surprised about things that could that were created based on comic books 30 days of nights another one of those things. yeah i didn't yeah i didn't know it was a comic book when i watched the movie originally Same yeah, exactly. but i found out later on exactly. Dude, how good is that movie though it's it's amazing. It's the best fan movie though. yeah it's definitely good i would and say i, I really say. agreed with your uh twilight like comparisons like this is all you really had yeah <laughs> yeah exactly so. um and yeah then yeah 48 v for vendetta so yeah like i like i said go ahead and find somebody you know, I'm sure you have somebody in your family who hasn't seen this movie yet, and, and sit down and check it out on Netflix, and I think y'all will really enjoy it. 